Hi, today I show you an add-on called WonderMesh. I cl click your Shift A, and you see uh, W primitives. That's for WonderMesh primitives. For example, I go to a torus, and then I see here settings for the torus. And I can also change them here. There is a thing when you go in edit mode and you extrude, for example, or you model in edit mode and change something here. And then the edit will disappear. So you might wonder oh, what uses then um, the wonder mesh. Uh, what I found, um, for example, I have here two cubes. This is a normal cube. This you can see it here. This is a regular mesh, and this one is a wonder mesh. On both of them I added the bevel modifier, the same one, same kind of bevel. If I'm going to scale, then you see that uh, the bevel is uh, distorted. Also, oh, with, the, with the wonder mesh, but I can go over here and I can change this, and now the bevel is not uh, distorted. I can make, uh, I can solve that with shape keys, for example. The shape keys, I uh, find them here. So, when you do that with shape keys, you don't also see distortion. So now a uh, use case, so what I did here, uh, this is just a cube. So I have here a stack of uh, modifiers, I will turn them off. So this is um, a wonder mesh uh, cube, so I can change this. Etc. So the first uh, modifier in this case, uh, there's a, a cast, then I smooth it, remesh, then simple deform, and then in this case that's bent, then I add um, a bevel modifier, and then with normal. If I go now over here and I change parameters over here, then we see this uh, nice effect. So I think that's um, pretty interesting then. And you can save them in, uh, let's say, make a new file. Then you can save them in your favorite asset manager. Example, this one. Then I go to this uh, object data tab, and there I should see it. Oh, I have to go to this tab.
So that's it. Thank you for watching.